first you need to install an app in your mobile the app name is called gimbal pro i'll leave the link in description box make sure you click the link and install it on your android mobile after opening the app this is how the interface looks like you need to allow the permissions to work this app perfectly now you can see an option called find device or enter the camera before that what you have to do is you need to connect this mobile to your gimbal then you need to turn on this and coming to the connection it's a manual connection as i told earlier in the unboxing video to connect this you need to first untighten it and now you can observe it is moving smoothly if you see here now take your mobile and place it here and also you can observe here two placement holders here where your mobile need to go between these two just slide it now my mobile went perfectly also what you have to do is if in case if in case your mobile is like touching like this like this this is not actually perfect calibration you need to unscrew it and adjust it where it actually doesn't touch anywhere for example some mobiles will touch i'll show to you see this is perfect it is actually ideal in position like in to and fro motion it's not touching in either sides now you need to turn on this by pressing this power button here you can see this is the power button after turning on this one look how it go see now it is calibrated if in case you missed something or calibration issues i'll share in a bit in the app we are having the complete calibration first one by one i'll share the app interface and everything now here you need to click on find device before that you need to turn on the bluetooth in your mobile and accept the all permissions now here it is showing the gp5 something this is the device which i connected now click on the enter camera i'll share these two options also this is the gallery option where the photos or videos which you shot in this application will be saved here and this one is my app where you can actually customize your language and default folder everything it's like a basic thing you can also check if you open these it's friendly settings for everyone i'll click on the enter camera and click on the confirm while using the app these are the permissions they ask because it is actually using the camera so that's why it asks for camera permission microphone internal storage location and everything so this is the app interface guys first i'll tell how to calibrate it then we will go each and every setting for to calibrate this here you can see an icon i will close to it so that you can observe this setting icon click on it and here you can see an option called gimbal click on the gimbal and on the last you can observe the calibration see horizontal adjust and imu calibration first i will start the calibration this is the manual adjustment guys where you need to adjust it like this see you can see mobile is rotating if i touch like this it is rotating in anti clockwise one thing i'll show to you is if you go in settings and gimbal click on the start calibration this is imu calibration which is like automatically it calibrates for this what they are actually telling is please make sure your gimbal is on a smooth desktop which means that you need to place your gimbal like this on a flat stand i'm using this tripod legs which are provided in the box make sure you connect this and you place it on a flat surfaces like table or something now i'm going to click on the confirm sorry confirm option it will take some time guys uh, like maybe one minute to calibrate perfectly if you observe here the calibration is done perfectly it is perfectly all right now what i'm going to do is i'll share each and every setting in the camera interface app so that you have a better idea and you don't have any doubts also see here on the top left there are two options are there one is for camera and another one is for video mode now currently this one is in camera mode if i tap on this one i can shift to video mode when it comes to the camera mode coming to the features we're having 
these features guys like single shot is there panorama shot is there and also even you can shoot with timer set on and this is the front camera and this is the gallery option where your photos are saved on the top these are the two options of face tracking and object tracking and in video mode it actually useful a lot i'll show to you on the top right corner you can see an options like the battery of your mobile followed by battery of your gimbal and also here is the option to turn or or turn off the flash also like it shows actually whether it is turned on or off and side we are having four options one is home button if you click on the home it redirects to the first where we started this video and if you want to go to camera enter camera mode now here is this camera setting icon where you are having so much of camera settings you can turn on the grid or turn off the grid grid is a very good option if you are shooting photos in constant place and if you want to shoot perfect photos in the same spot so these are the good features of the grid i actually use the grid a lot and followed by we're having the filters also where we're having raw these are the different filters you will get in this app then followed by we're having the flash where you can turn on or turn off or always on option is also there and also make sure that if you turn on this flash always it consumes your mobile battery a lot then we're having the white balance option where you can customize it i keep it automatic where it's very good if in case we are using DSLR cameras, I'll prefer in manual conditions. Then we're having two options like HDR and beauty mode. Here you can see a mic option where you're having the features of this gimbal like the sport, walk, follow mode, live face tracking, etc. things. Based upon the type of conditions you are shooting, you can select these settings. On the last, we're having the settings icon where you can customize the gimbal a lot. First is camera option. If you click on the camera, it shows only one option right now, guys. So we're having the panorama quality. When it comes to the gimbal, we're having some settings of this one, guys. When it comes to the first thing, it is rapid configuration. Also, if anything is there, if you press this mode button two times, it will come to its initial position. That's cool thing. Next is tilt reverse, where the tilting is actually reversal. If I move the joystick to top, See, it is moving. I mean, the camera is showing the top. If I enable this tilt reverse option, if I move my joystick to top, it won't show the top angle. Look at it. See, now it's showing the bottom angle. And next is follow speed. Follow speed is like face tracking and object tracking. And these are the two options we already checked the calibration. And if you want to reset these settings, just click on the reset gimbal and click on the confirm. Now it is resetted. After saving all these settings, don't forget to click on this done option. Then only it will be saved. This is the camera option guys. Now we will go to the video option because gimbal is only useful for videos only I think 95%. When it comes to the videos, there are many things I need to talk about here. First thing, this is the option where you can actually shoot the default slow motion time lapse or M time lapse. I don't know what this option is actually different timeline options are there here i'll keep it as default followed by the front camera shifting and the gallery of course and here you can see on top face tracking and next one is object tracking for example see this is my object tracking now wherever i go gimbal follows the object you can see here this is how actually the face tracking also work you need to drag where the actual subject is then it follow along see it is working perfectly fine if i move fastly let's see how it actually works perfect oh i never expected this much if i move out of the frame oh again it is tracking that's nice i thought if i move out of the frame it actually lost the subject that's good guys now when it comes to the settings of the video quality remaining all settings are same like the previous camera modes only one setting you can see here is video resolution it is a very bad thing guys because in this gimbal we don't have any 60 frames per record option if you observe here only 4k 30 fps is supported or 1080p followed by 720p video 30 frames is supported no 60 frames option is there it's a bad thing i never expected this 60 frames option is really useful for to shoot smooth and good videos when it comes to the final part of the video these controls in this gimbal first thing is you can observe here the battery indicator this light is actually shows whether you connected your gimbal or 
not if it is not connected it blink the blue light when it comes to the battery it blinks red light if the battery is low and blue light if you turn on when it comes to the charging on the side we are having the charging slot where micro usb is there to charge no type c and also type a cable is also provided which means that with the help of the type a to any cable you are having you can actually charge your mobile also like emergency time on the front we are having a joystick control where you can move to left right top or bottom like this and also when it comes to the rotation this gimbal rotates 270 degrees guys not 360 degrees it can rotate 270 degrees only it can rotate and also that too in horizontal like this way only it can rotate if you want to tilt your mobile like this you cannot do it these are the two buttons below we're having one is power on or off button and this one is mode button where you can actually change the mode if you double press this mode button this gimbal actually comes to its original stay side we're having the zoom in or zoom out button where you can actually see i will show to you if i move the slider it zooms if i scroll it down it zoom out this is the only function it is having and on the back we're having the uh, press button where you can actually press this record or stop the record or if you want to click the photos also you can press this to click the photos so these are the controls we're having and uh, apart from this we don't have any buttons or any controls so yeah that's the connection and the full complete setup of this gimbal guys if in case you are having any doubts in this gimbal feel free to comment and also i shared the unboxing and the review videos in the description box feel free to check if you want to buy the gimbal or if you want to check the price the link is in description box feel free to check you're watching tech bunny and i'll see you in the next video with another interesting one take care and keep rocking and keep supporting see you again in the next video